Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink and for today's card I finally pulled out my little Lawn Fawn Donut Worry stamp set that I showed. I can't even remember how long ago I got this but it's high time I started using some of my Lawn Fawn stamps that have been sitting neglected for too long. So for this card I pulled out some Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock and I'm inking up the donut stamp with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink and just stamping it randomly across this background. I purposely didn't want everything to be perfectly spaced, you know, in a grid style or anything like that, like totally random. So once I did that, I took the little um, circular sprinkle stamp from the set and just stamped again randomly some of the donuts with and then left some without. And then I pulled out a bunch of Copic markers to color these in and I've super sped up the coloring process to about eight times faster than it took me. Um, it did take a while to color in this one too, just like my last card. I don't know, it's like I go big or go home. I, I don't even have that much time to ca make cards as it is and I usually prefer to do things as quickly as possibly, but as quickly as possible, but the last couple cards I've made, I took a ton of time to color. But I just do it in spurts when I've got, you know, a few minutes here and there, more often than not, off camera where people can't see. I've got, you know, kids at my elbow and all that kind of stuff. They play in here with me and I just make it work. So this, just like most of my cards, I just did it in spurts and just turned the camera on when I was coloring. And for each color, I basically use two Copic markers. I will have them all listed on my blog. Like I always do, I have a picture of the markers and like I write it all out on a sticky note what colors I used. But I just kept it simple, like a person could go more all out, you know, use three, even four markers, you know, get beautiful shading and depth. But I was like, you know, they're donuts and I don't have a lot of time. Plus I'm doing an entire card panel again. <laughs> So I just wanted to get them colored. So I started with just like the donuts themselves and did them in kind of cream colors and browns. And then for the frosting on them, I was just in the mood to do pink. So I did most of them in like different shades of pink. And then I did a couple with a really, really dark brown to kind of look more obviously like chocolate. And then I did a kind of beigey color to kind of look a little more vanilla-ish. Um, Cause yeah, that was, that was my kind of color scheme was um, brown, pink, and then kind of cream colored or whatever. So I colored in all the donuts first and then to really make them pop, I took my warm gray markers and did shading around all the donuts. And that's actually, I think what ended up taking the longest to do. Um, because again, I just, I didn't know when to stop. So <laughs> I started with W3. And I went around all of the insides of the donuts and then all of the outsides of the donuts. So I went around, did all of that, and then I went around all of that again with W1 um, to kind of start blending it out. And then I will go around yet again with W00 because the whole point is kind of blend it all out to white. So I just started like this and then just kept going. I ended up actually having to re-ink. Um, my W1 and W3, not because I use so much on this panel, but because these are some of my most used um, Copic markers. Like back in the day, you know, 10 plus years ago when I first got Copics, I never would have thought I would use grays so much because, you know, I prefer bright colors, all that sort of thing. But, you know, the, the, the grays you end up actually using a ton because of all the shading. So I have refills for all of my W's for sure and then some of the C's as well but the W's I just I don't know I like them more I gravitate towards the warm grays so I use them a lot have to re-ink them regularly and yeah I did the W3 the W1 and then the W00 I pulled it out a little bit further and blended it in a bit more and then as my final step I took my zero my color with a blender and really went over it all to make it blend out a little bit more and actually the colors blender is the one that I've used the most. I actually today emptied my refill into this marker. Um, I've gone through an entire refill bottle on this. Again, I've been doing this for, I've been coloring with Covix for over 10 years now. And then I actually have a great big, huge bottle of colorless blender that's about maybe a quarter empty. So I use it a lot. So anyway, once I was done the coloring, I stamped the little donuts two more times just onto a scrap of paper. And there's little happy face stamps in this set. I, it's so cute. I love that Lawn Fun includes that in so many of their sets. You can turn like, you know, little benign images into characters. So I stamped the donuts two more times, colored them the same way, and then I'd stamped two of the little faces onto there. 
And then on a piece of brown cardstock, I treated it with my anti-static powder tool and then stamped the Donut Worry stamp onto it with Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Ink and embossed that with some Detail White Embossing Powder. And then I die cut that with one of the dies from the My Favorite Things Fishtail Flags Dynamics and um, decided how I wanted to kind of lay this out. So I actually die cut the background panel I had colored with the largest die from MFT's Blueprints 2 Dynamics and then um, trimmed down the sentiment panel there and just glued it to one of the donuts just along the edge. And then I decided to pop that up with some 3M foam tape. So took a strip of that and then three little tiny pieces just to go along the back of the donut. And then I used my grid paper to like align everything so I can get this adhered straight onto the card. So once I've got that adhered, I wanted to add some embellishments. So I found a pack of, these are basic grade candy dots, candy dots, basic grade no longer does um, paper craft products anymore, which I made a big announcement. That was months ago. I was heartbroken. So heartbroken. I don't even want to talk about it anyway. Um, but I still have quite a few packs of their candy dots on hand and which was perfect because those pink ones were the perfect shade this card and then the brown ones were from Doodlebug, the Bon Bon colored ones which were also perfect for this card. So I did that and then my card base is some My Favorite Things bubblegum cardstock that I cut to four and a quarter by 11 and I scored it up five and a half with my Teflon bone folder so it's a top folding A2 sized card and I adhered this little donut panel with my Tombow Mono Multi just flat onto the card and then to finish off the inside of the card that's where that second little donut character is going to go and then I inked up the be happy sentiment with that same intense black ink. It's so got that inked up and then lined up my card again on the grid paper to get this stamped straight. And once I got that stamped I'm going to adhere that little donut with the same mono multi and I was technically supposed to be done but then as I was like holding the card and looking at it I was like mm, you know I should yep yep had to so I pulled out my glossy accents and just added it to the main, you know, little donut character. I actually did think about adding it to several of the donuts in the background, but I was like, no, overkill, total overkill. So instead I just added it to the little main donut. So I went around and added it to just the frosting. So it's got this shiny raised fun frosting on it. And that finished off the card. So as always, I will have a link below the video to my blog post with pictures, as well as a picture of all the Copic markers I use to get this look. Um, and pictures, picture links to all the supplies used, all that stuff. So if you're interested in any of that, check out um, the description box below the video. And thank you guys so much for watching, subscribing, and thumbs upping and commenting on my videos. And I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.